All right. This is my game I've started at the beginning of 2018. I've had previous ideas and rough drafts of the same game, but I haven't kept any of the work because mostly it was just me learning, and this is all the things I've learned and compiled into this year. Started the project brand new, and only thing I reused were some of the assets I've created, but this is it. So, forgive me, pretty much everything in here is a placeholder so that I could have something fancy to look at while I'm doing the programming. And most of the work I've done this year is black work, but you don't see it. It's hiding in the dock. But everything's functioning pretty well. Now i got to start filling it out and making it actually a, a playable game. I mean, it's playable, but... So multiplayer's working. If somebody else has a client that's on the same version as this one they'd be able to log on and play with me this character customization screen is a rough draft very rough I don't even have the right character stuff in there so there's this bulky helmet on in the way but this is just to show that I've got the principles down you can change things and they'll update and they even update on the server and I wanted people to be able to do asymmetrical character design if they wanted to have different eyes and stuff, which is still just a rough draft. And we're sticking to a chibi art style. Um, and you can't even see the mouth because I've got the helmet on. And the numbers aren't updating yet because they work in single player, but the way I'm running it right now is as if it was the full client with multiplayer working. And so some of the coding is a little different. I could do it the single player way and then it, it doesn't really matter. They're just numbers, but basically I want to run everything. I've got an idea. So anyways, and then you'll be able to change colors for your different pieces all over the character. And it's actually really customizable, but the character creation screen doesn't have all the programming I've actually done in it. It's just a new map that I've started for specifically creating and customizing your character. Even after you've created one, you can go back in here and do that. And then I'll have dedicated servers, but right now I'm just using the multiplayer tutorial that Unreal put out on YouTube. But uh, I've got dedicated servers working. This is just the easiest way to do it while I'm programming is just to go in here really quick and do a little server client from your same machine kind of situation. So whoever hosts the session is the server and people who join are clients, but that is not a forever thing. Hello. The chat log is working. This is from character customization, but not a window that I've shown you. And <coughs> in here, if I had it all set up, you would see, I don't have the save files ready yet, but you'd see the updates of how you've changed your character and in the character customization screen it will actually be somebody who's not naked but it'll be a character that has you know you'll be able to see their face and everything like that and the hairstyles and hair colors and everything like that and this is kind of what the chibi characters look like so and then even helmets and items like that will be customizable so they'll be able to have horns or different visors on them, things like that. And this is one without that piece on it. So you'll be able to mod your items, which is all working, but like I said, a lot of it isn't. The programming is done, but the stuff isn't visual yet. Um, yeah, so if we just go back in here, it's this guy. This is all from that multiplayer tutorial I was talking about that Epic put out and it all functions just fine but a lot of it's going to be going away after I finish a little more programming with the dedicated servers and if I travel in this is a very large test map that I have so that I can test LODs and um, functionality of players on a large map especially one that is tiled so right now the loading screen would actually still be going as the rest of the world loads in, but 
that works better on my dedicated servers than on my it's like here it goes so yeah you wouldn't see this with my dedicated servers you'd still be in the loading screen and the server would load all this in and then the clients would come in when the world's full but this is my very large testing map just to show things off like my LODs you can kind of see them uh, let's see with some of the trees will fade in like that one's actually a 2d image and then when I get close it pops in things like that to keep um, basically I can have a very large world and really beautiful vistas even though it's cartoony because of the LODs and I've got um, there'll be grass everywhere there's grass like right there is I mean all this is bare but eventually it will look like this I'm just still working on some other things with those LODs and yeah and players will be able to have a lot of customization with their armor and stuff like that which is all working kind of like the visor and the helmet I was talking about I've got a day and night system that works with the clock up there in the top left which will be changing as well to something with an actual interface instead of just text but I'll have events that pop off throughout the day every day on the game that will be somewhat randomly generated so maybe at 3 a.m. there might be something wicked that happens at night and you've got to go take care of it with your friends or not uh, you know how multiplayer games are these days there's a lot of events you can take part in these are just to tech my vitals <coughs> make sure that they're working so this is to show that the heart which is blood goes down when we take damage and then over time it will fill back up there it goes Whoop, full this is to show eating for your stomach fills up the stomach <coughs> this is to show <coughs> drinking for your bladder fills up the bladder so when the stomach is empty that will have a negative effect when the bladder is empty that will have a negative effect this is your skull which is actually going to be fatigue and that's kind of an overall mixture of the different stats that will make you fatigued so when you are fatigued you'll have issues regenerating health and stamina and things like that it's a, it's a whole system I'm not going to go into right now but it works very well as far as a survival type game goes so yeah this is just showing stamina it goes down when I jump anyways but this was just to make sure that I could debug a little more so that when it was completely empty it would have no issues refilling. There's a, it's a lot of debugging stuff that I pretty much have in the map right now. This is my sanity, which is the brain. You can't see it very well because of all the texture we have on the brain. But this is sanity, and this will go down in different situations, like when you're highly outnumbered against large or difficult creatures, your sanity will go down a little bit, or when you're low health or low on a majority of the vitals your sanity will struggle struggle but mostly this will be a stat you don't worry about too often unless you're putting yourself in really rough situations or even things like going into caves or dark areas when you don't have light depending on what your character traits are you might be built around doing spooky things and then your sanity wouldn't suffer but if you're a day walker you know and you might have issues with that stuff there's a there's a whole big thing I'll talk about when I have the vitals more fleshed out um, but right now, as far as all the bars on the bottom right go, they're all working just fine visually. Um, this is just another showcase of different trees I've got going on. These are aspens. Even though it's cartoony, I'm going to have a lot of realistic alpine type things. Uh, and I don't know why I'm going into that with aspens, but a lot of the armor will be based on real medieval armor and stuff like that. It's just going to be cartoony. and. The survival looks kind of hard on the bottom right with those all those vitals you got to watch, but it's really not going to be that bad. And with how fast the day and night are going right now for me to make sure that my stars and moon and stuff like that is working is not really going to be what it's like. It'll be probably, I don't know, maybe an hour long day. Or I haven't quite worked out the time I'm going to choose yet. 
but it's going to be based on a lot of events, so i got to do some playing with that. This is also from the item pickup tutorial that Unreal has also put out, or Epic has also put out on YouTube. And this is working just fine, but it's like a lot of stuff you'll see there, a lot like the tutorials. I've just done a lot of back work on them that are different from the tutorials, and um, I just, you know, you need a place to start, and then from there you learn more, and then you can customize it a lot yourself. And a lot of the programming you can't see is stuff I have originally created, it's just I can't just show you streaming code while I'm playing the game. But yeah, so you'll be able to go up to these and pick them up, which you can do right now and you can drop them there's just like a lot of the programming I've done that you can't see because I don't have another client connected is updating these things to drop for all the clients and pick up for all the clients which that tutorial doesn't really go into super well you can kind of get some ideas of how it works and the tutorial does do it all by um, collision boxes so if I'm in the middle of these things I pick all of them up I don't like that which is why I'm adding um, you can see these little line traces and that is an update on the game and that's it so I will show you guys more as I get more done and you have a good Thanksgiving bye bye